What's up YouTube family? Already back with the first modification to the ST here. Uh, UPR catch can, you know we gotta get it. Twin turbo charge 3.0. Look at the size of this freaking catch can UPR has for this vehicle. Just as a size comparison, let's get the one for the Sierra. Now this was considered one of their large cans uh, and it's for the 6.2 Sierra. Look at the size difference, look how much fatter this can is. It's almost the same height, pretty close there. But as far as how big around, I mean, geez, this is a big can. It's got a nice drain at the bottom here, which I'm gonna remove it to drain it. I like being able to remove it and drain it. I don't drain it in the car, I won't be doing the drain line. So this is the dual valve oil catch can with ECSS. It's a plug and play kit. And they just changed this kit up about four or five months ago and made it a no drill install. So I know a lot of people with the ES, uh, ECSS where <clears throat> it's a wide open line to where you can still get air drawn through and it can still be collecting oil even while the system's under boost. It's, it's something UPR is very good at. It also comes with this clean side can because it's a complete kit and it's got all the hoses and lines and fittings, okay? Don't be intimidated by this and thinking you can't do it. This is, this is easy. I mean, look at these fittings. UPR thought of everything. These are high quality. UPR was doing these fittings and these nice SS hoses and everything or uh, braided hoses, sorry, and everything before anyone else did. I know a lot of companies do it now. UPR was one of the first ones to get these easy connect fittings and stuff and, and put them on all their cans where you can just plug right in. It's 100% it's plug and play. Uh, I've made plenty of videos of UPR. I use them on everything. I purchased this can right here, just like I did one for the Jeep. They don't have to buy me a can for me to use it. I've been using them for... 12, 13 years, UPR used to make products to make other brands of catch can work properly. I mean, what else do you need to know? Let's get over here at the car. First things first, this little guy right here. I'm gonna go ahead and take it off. And the way these clips right here work, you have to get them, get them pushed around to get them off. So let me, Take it off and then I'll show you on the bench how to get those fittings off of there. So how these work are pretty simple. It's just a pain because of where they are in the car. It's hard to get to this, but this right here, you push this up and over. Push it up and over that lip and it opens, it opens it up. It's just a pain to get to where it's at. So once I have that off, I want to get that off first. Uh, the directors actually mount the can first. So this right here is where we're gonna mount the catch can to. It's this hole right here. So let's bring it over. So you'll just need a 530 seconds Allen. And get this ginormous can set here into place. This can should be plenty enough to go in between oil changes. Hopefully this thing doesn't have that much blow by. But you have a huge area here to, to be able to mount this can. And I'm gonna loosely fit it for right now uh, until we get all the hoses installed. I've already got the clean, the uh, dirty side hose taken off on the other side over here. We got that piece out of there. So now we need to start running our UPR hoses. So there's two different hoses. You have one without your check valve and one with your check valve that I have here in this kit. So the one with the check valve is going to go on the side port here. Make sure it's clicked in there real good. That's the side port. And the one without the check valve is going to go on the top port. And the top port is always your dirty line coming in. So that means this one without the check that's on the top port here, that one will go onto the valve cover like so. Make sure it clicks down into place really good. And then the other one that has the check valve in it, check marks 
or the valve always faces towards the intake away from the can and that clicks down. I always check and make sure they click in and then we'll tidy up these hoses just a little bit here in a little while. So the next step was to get the other side of the hose that went right here, come on right here on the clean side out and these little orange fittings as you can see, I already put a UPR one on this side and I'm gonna replace this one. Just, I, I'm t it's got instructions on how to release the tabs on this, but you can go ahead and count on you just breaking it because I don't, don't ruin your day. Just go ahead and stick your pick underneath there and break these orange things and remove this hose and then replace it with the UPR ends because I messed with this for an hour and I do lots of work in here and Ford should be ashamed of themselves. They really didn't want you to get this one hose off of here. So just don't even, just put, don't even mess with these things. Just go ahead and break the orange clip out the center so you can get them off and get UPR ends on. And you're gonna heat up the ends. We're about to show you how to replace the ends. Once you get this hose off, then right down there, you'll just put the T-fitting that UPR supplies. You can have that female end facing you and then the male end facing straight up to receive this hose once we get it fixed. So let's go over here and do that. Okay, so UPR being smart as they are, they know that we, <laughs> well, we probably gonna break these hoses, okay? So they did supply some extra ends here in the kit, okay? So this right here is the other one that I already removed. You can see that it matches this one and all you have to do is roll to get these on. You roll back this insulation stuff a little bit. You can get a heat gun or a hair dryer, just something to warm this up a little bit so you can twist the, these ends up out of here. Doesn't have to be scorching hot. This needs to be a little warm. All right, let's try that. Yep, you just twist back and forth and she pulls right out. Then you can take whichever end that you would like to put on there. Both of them look the same to me, so I'm just gonna go with this one and just push it back up in there. And once it's pushed back up in there, just roll that back up so it can cool off. This end was one that I already had, uh, but let's say for the sake of keeping the kit, the kit, keeping everything together, I warm this end back up. This is from a different catch can kit, and I use the one that they supplied. Just to keep everything, to show you that they have everything in the kit that you need. And this is the one that come in the kit. Push it on there. Push this back up. And there you have your finished piece. And UPR, like I said, they, they probably realize that these, these clips that Ford put on that hose suck and that you're more than likely gonna break them. So thank God for them guys and thinking ahead and just going ahead and supplying these in the kit for you so you don't have to worry about it. Back to the car. So for the clean side here, this right here is pushed out. You just barely push it in and it'll go right where this went. Make sure you get it clicked all the way on. There we go. Get a little snug, make sure that it, a little pull, make sure that it's snug. Then this side of our line here, you put your hose back on here. Let me set the camera down so I can get it on. So let's try to show what I did here. You'll turn this 90 degrees to where that it's in. Now this is a little bit different than their instructions because on this 2022, both ends of this hose was that weird orange fitting and there's no sensor in this hose like there is in their videos. So that's another thing that they changed. Uh, it still goes down to right here. Let's see if they can actually focus on what I want it to. All right, so it still goes down right here and it clips on. There we go, now we can see it a little better. That's their, you know, little T-fitting there. And then it comes out 
and goes into the can right here into the side. And this is what allows you even at wide open throttle to still have flow through the can. So I had to push the can pretty far over here. I've got some of this cloth wire tape that I've put and kind of, you know, tied it up. Uh, be careful around some of these little fittings and stuff like that. Uh, I actually, my big ass hand broke this one right here off and I'm gonna have to do some plastic weld and weld it back on and hope that it works. Uh, and it looks like it's a small boost reference line right here that I that I broke. So be careful when you have your big hands down in there trying to get to some of this stuff because uh, it's easy to break some of it. So hopefully that works out for me. I'm sure that it will. If not, I'll wind up ordering another one of these tubes or the momentum intake, huh? either way. Huh? You have it all installed, ready to go. Hoses are gonna be kind of tidied up here. Uh, again, I didn't have the sensor in this clean size ho clean side hose over here. And I had the orange paint in the butt fitting on both sides of that hose. Uh, so something that they updated or changed in 2022, or at least on this one, who knows nowadays, it might just be this car and the, you know, last 50 before it, next 50 after, and everyone else got the other hose. No telling. Uh, but UPR kind of thought about things like that. They included both the fittings. So everything will be good. And it looks good under the engine cover here. Just go back and make sure that you have gotten all your lines clipped in with the Easy Connect fittings and stuff that they include. Uh, make sure that you've tightened down your catch can here and everything's good to go. Uh, I've got this plastic welding on mine. Again, make sure that you're super careful around, especially that one, because it's a little bitty thin piece of plastic tubing that pops out and it's hard plastic and it just, it snapped on me uh, with just the slightest pressure from my arm being rested up against it. And it doesn't have a lot of protection around it. So just be careful guys. This is stuff that you can do. Uh, don't make the same mistakes that I made right here. Plenty of people installed this thing without any kind of issues. UPR really thinks of everything with their kits. They supplied extra fittings and everything because they just knew we were going to break them, man. Um, you can do this stuff in your garage. A catch can is something that's invaluable, especially in these, uh, you know, EcoBoost turbocharged engines. To keep this blow by out. I've made plenty of videos on catch cans and why they're important. Appreciate every, every one of you guys from watching. Make sure you share these videos if you like them. Hope you learned something or it made it a little easier to install this stuff. Show you that you can install these things on your vehicle too. Thanks.